Hi guys, welcome to another week of painting with Mrs. Williams. It's week three with us, technically week four, but week three. Um, so here we go. Um, as usual, try to check in on the rainbow wall every single week as oftentimes my videos are outdated and I'll update the rainbow wall as soon as I can. All right, this week we will sketch only four new prompts because of Labor Day on Monday, so we didn't have school, so it's only going to be four prompts. Um, we're going to complete an artist spotlight for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we're going to continue to master art skills via a colored Crayola painting or coffee painting, whatever floats your boat this week. Uh, sketches as a reminder to fill in your pages. We will have a sketchbook check later this week, and I'll be checking for nine sketches. I'll be checking for last week's sketches and this week's sketches. If you turned in last week's sketches last week, you need to turn them in again into this week's turn in basket. I only check sketches every other week, but when I do check sketches, I don't want to just check the weeks i want to check the weeks and the weeks before so it's every other week uh great job on your freaky fridays i'm seeing a lot of fun artists i can tell i have a lot of animators in my class who are just so excited keep up the great work um this week since it's a shorter week so we have labor day and then we have two technical half days for the in-person students and i'm going to treat them as half days online too which means our projects need to be a little bit shorter and a little bit more fun we get to experiment a little bit more this week so you guys have a choice project you can either a create a coffee painting or b create a painting using a colored crayola marker rather than just a black marker marker and whatever masterpiece you choose whether it's the coffee or the Crayola colored painting you're going to be turning those in on Friday either or um, so I've included pictures for inspiration of what coffee can do coffee even though you may have never heard of it it is a fairly common painting technique you should be able to go on to YouTube and see uh, people painting with coffee but here are some pictures that just really stood out to me you'll be using a very very small cup of coffee with a lot of coffee powder inside of it instant coffee works the best for this or instant espresso um, the darker roast the better but again if you are interested in this as a masterpiece, you will need instant coffee. I did not include that in your kit. If you don't have that, you may want to hop to our next piece, which is a colored Crayola painting. So don't feel like you have to do something that you have to go out and buy coffee at 3 a.m. on a Walmart. Just use, use whatever you have. You're okay. Um, and then this is a colored Crayola marker painting. Now this is a pretty rare technique, but luckily it mirrors its buddy the black ink painting that we have been finishing. And so I saw this painting, it was done with just Crayola marker and a tiny bit of white acrylic paint just for those little ear hairs. And then I love the process video I saw for it as well. So I highly recommend if you are going to do this method instead of the coffee painting, please please look at this video down here. It will help you so much and I'll try to attach that link into our Tuesday post as well. Um, it will just wow you. She does a great job. It's so fun to watch her. Um, all right, so either you're doing your coffee painting or your color Crayola painting and you're turning in your sketches and your Freaky Friday. And so it's a busy week, even though it's a short week, but I cannot wait to see what you guys have to offer. Good luck, guys.